Recently, there has been something of a trend towards setting up fun-sized miniature saltwater aquariums of only a couple of litres or around half a gallon. And I myself joined that very trend five months ago when I set up this quarter gallon 900 milliliter anemone tank. But with tanks like this, you normally only get to see the honeymoon period when the tank looks pristine, the livestock is sitting in brand new saltwater, and it's all fun giggles and novelty factor. So today I'm going to show you the reality of living with a tank like this after the initial romantic feelings are past. And this is what my tank looked like the day I filmed this video. I haven't cleaned it nor have I deliberately neglected it for the purposes of this footage, this is just how it looks. And the first thing you'll notice is that there is a rather unattractive film of brown algae on all four viewing panels. And that speaks to the first issue with a tank like this. The magnetic algae scraper I use on my main tank makes cleaning the glass an absolute piece of cake, so I do it all the time, usually twice a week. But this tank is so tiny, there's very little space to get in and clean the viewing panels. And I've had to fashion my own algae scraper, which quite frankly, is a bit rubbish. And when you do get in to scrape the algae off, it just floats around the water column and settles on the sand bed. Now you can get around that to some extent by doing a water change immediately after you scrape the algae off, but that always feels like a faff to me, so it doesn't get done. And the next problem I have to tell you about is parameter swings. Now of course I expected the temperature to fluctuate, which it does. At worst it fluctuates by about 7 or 8 degrees C per day, which is around 15 degrees Fahrenheit. But that's not even the worst part. Now I had expected salinity to remain fairly stable. The tank sits flush on the sump and it has a pretty tight fitting lid up top, so I thought there'd be nowhere for water to evaporate and escape to. But boy was I wrong, and I get salt deposits around the rim of the sump where warm water rises and evaporates. All of which means that my salinity steadily increases over time. Now it should be around 1.025 specific gravity, but when I tested it for this video it was 1.028, and I suspect it's been much worse at times over the last five months. And all of that instability means that life has been rather difficult for my little anemones. I started with around 7 or 8 of these, and I can currently count just 4 in the tank, none of which are looking anything like as healthy as they were on day 1. Now I have been doing some water changes, but they've been rather irregular. And I reckon on average I've probably done about 1 a month. Although recently I've taken to emptying the sump and replacing it completely, so I'm probably changing roughly 30% of the water at a time. And on the face of it, 30% once a month is probably about right, but I think this tank would really benefit from the little and often approach of 10% once a week. Now it will probably come as no surprise to many of you that keeping such a small tank isn't easy. And indeed I chose to keep nothing but Mahano anemones, the Chuck Norris of saltwater animals, because I didn't think this tank would realistically support any more delicate forms of life like a small shrimp or even a hardy soft coral. However, I'm not actually saying you shouldn't get a micro tank like this, and I'm very much the you can do whatever you want type of person. All I'm really saying is you should think about the effort you're prepared to put into a tank like this before you commit. I found that they really don't do well if neglected, and for whatever reason, even simple maintenance tasks feel like a massive hassle to me when they don't on my main tank. And I've found that because I have this tank sitting behind me, I never really look directly at it. So if you set one up, I'd recommend setting it up right in front of your eye line as far as possible so you're less likely to neglect it. But with all of that being said, I am no quitter and I'm determined to keep going and make a success of this. And of course I'd love to know what you guys think of tanks like this. Are they just a gimmick or are they a legitimate extension of the hobby? So let me know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week. And until next time, happy reefing.